JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's uh, daily market review for July the 27th. I am Haralambos Pistoros, Head of Research here at JFD and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events, how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's uh, read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded lower on Monday and during the Asian session Tuesday, losing the most ground against the GBP, CHF and the Euro. The greenback slid uh, the least against the Yen and the, and the Aussie. Now the strengthening of the Swiss franc combined with the relative weakness in the Aussie suggests that markets traded in a risk of fashion yesterday and today in Asia. However, the underperforming greenback uh, and uh, Yen point otherwise. Thus, in order to get a clearer picture with regards to the broader market sentiment, we prefer to turn our gaze to the equity world. Here, EU indices were mixed with DAX and uh, Eurostox 50 falling somewhat, perhaps after the German IFO survey missed uh, its own uh, estimates, suggesting that Eurozone's growth engine may have started to slow. However, other indices like Italy's FTSE, MIB and Spain's IBEX 35 traded, traded well in the green, perhaps, on, uh, perhaps due to strong uh, earning, uh, earning reports and uh, last week's uh, dovish uh, message uh, from the ACB. In the US, investors were more cautious ahead of uh, tomorrow's FOMC decision. All three of Wall Street's uh, main indices hit uh, fresh uh, records, but they were quick to pull back, erasing some of their early gains. This may have not only been due to, uh, due to being careful ahead of uh, the Fed decision, but it could also be due to the fact that uh, this week is packed with earnings from uh, big giants like uh, Facebook, Alphabet, Apple, Amazon and uh, Microsoft. Tesla released its results yesterday after the closing bell. The numbers were better than anticipated with uh, record-setting deliveries uh, for the June quarter, helping propel the company's uh, results. Its, uh, its share price gained more than 2.5% in uh, after-hours trading, which uh, means that the stock could open with a positive gap today. Now in Asia, China Shanghai Composite and Hong Kong Sang Seng took a beating on worries over Chinese government regulations in the education, property and tech stocks. Now with no major events uh, scheduled for today, investors may, uh, may maintain their cautious stance ahead of uh, tomorrow's FOMC outcome. However, well ahead of that, tonight, during the Asian session Wednesday, Aussie traders may pay attention to Australia's um, to Australia's CPIs for the second quarter. The headline rate is forecast to jump to 3.8% year over year from 1.1% above the upper end of the RBA's 2-3% to target range. However, the trimmed mean rate, although also expected to rise, is forecast to have stayed below the lower bound of that range. Specifically, the trimmed mean rate is anticipated to have risen to 1.7% year over year from 1.3%. Therefore, with underlying inflation staying below the RBA's objective, we doubt that Aussie traders will start betting on earlier tightening by this bank. At this, uh, month's, uh, at this month's gathering, officials announced uh, that they will proceed with more bond purchases beyond September and also said that they are planning to keep interest rates at current levels until 2024. So with that in mind, even if market sentiment uh, continues to improve, we believe that OZ is likely to perform purer than, other, uh, than its other risk-linked counterparts, especially the Kiwi, 
the central bank of which is expected to push the hike button very soon, perhaps as early as uh, next month. Now, as for today's events, as we already noted, there are no top tier indicators on today's agenda. We only get the US durable goods orders for June and the conference board consumer confidence index for July. Headline orders are forecast to slow to 2.1% month over month from 2.3%, but the core rate is anticipated to have increased to 0.8% month over month from, from 0.3%. The CB index is anticipated to have declined somewhat to 124.1 from 127.3. Now, with regards to the energy market, we have the American Petroleum Institute report on crude oil inventories for last week, but as it is always the case, no forecast is uh, available. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.